you need to look at the natural predator, the python. Are you hearing me? To understand the mannerisms and the characteristics of the spiritual python affecting the body of Christ today. Python, in the natural as a snake, it coils around its prey. Hmm? And it squeezes the lungs. It squeezes the ribs to contrast you, constrict you rather, so that the more you do, you gasp for breath, then it squeezes. The more, then it squeezes. Python never breaks the bones of its prey. It never breaks your structure. But it is after your breath. It squeezes the breath of life, the spiritual life. Your relationship with the Holy Spirit is what it is after. But it allows you with the church, churchanity. Churchanity, the love for the church, not the relationship with the Christ of the church. It squeezes you and it, it now takes the breath before it swallows you. So you have a structure, skeletal structure, which denotes tradition, systems, religiosity. It leaves you consistently attending church. That is formality. That's a structure, skeletal structure. You attend church. You pray. You attend all the prayer meetings, but you're still a gossip. You come, you're still in rebellion, but you are the worshiper. You're still fornicating. Others commit sodomy, all kind of sins, but it leaves you with a structure, but no breath. Do you know that this spirit as a python it operates, it's a reptilian. Every reptilian, reptilians have double tongues, two tongues. Satan could not find a perfect expression through any other creature except a serpent which is double tongued. Because Satan is double tongued. Deception has half truth and the truth. Two tongues in one, truth and the deceit to make deception. Because deception is much more different from lies because a deception is a decorated lie to look like a truth. So a lie has to be decorated to look like truth. That's what deception is. Now Satan is, one of his name is a deceiver. It is his title. It is his nature. A father of all lies. It is his native language. Are you hearing me? So he works the tongue. Python neutralizes prayer lives by reason of demonic accusation. You see how he accused the Paul? Accusing each other. The way she looked at me. Or you accuse her of him things they never did. When the spirit of accusation is in the church, now you know Python is at work sucking out the life of the church. They were at the place of prayer, but Python could not leave them. Wherever they went, she's intact. These are the men of God. That, <laughs> these are the servants of the Most High that preach the way of salvation. What does that do? Python's spirit seeks to take attention. To draw attention away from the Lord and to itself when it is operating in an individual. But it, it is against prayer. God is calling us to a place of deeper prayer. Jesus never did ministry without prayer.